And then finally, let us talk about the large class. So I haven't taught a large class in quite a while. When I was a graduate student, my pre-calculus classes had about 99 students um, in each class. My differential equations classes had about 65 students in each class. And so what I would do here is I would do a lecture-based um, class, however, I had a lot of mini breaks, like every maybe uh, 10 or so minutes, I'm stopping and I'm having the students practice some problems on their own or do a think pair share where the students work on their own, check their answer with their neighbor. If they can't agree, then I'll go over it with the group. Another approach that I really like is using voting, right? So maybe there's a concept that's pretty tricky and it's unclear whether the problem is going one way or another. And so just getting a poll of the students, who thinks the answer or the next thing to do is this? Who thinks the next thing to do is this? And then we see like, okay, interesting, interesting. It's, it's always very interesting when the majority of students choose the wrong choice. And that is a great teaching opportunity to, again, address those misconceptions, help them, help them understand why they thought the wrong thing and how to course correct and find the right thing to do. So yeah, in my larger classes, a lot of little breaks to remind the students that, you know, not really remind them to refresh their energy <laughs> because I find especially in those bigger classes it's so easy to hide and so easy to distract yourself and so by doing those smaller breaks every 10 minutes or so I'm recapturing the students attention they're engaging and they're able to formulate questions during class.